Ladies and gentlemen, this is something I always wanted to try. Double trouble with two Colt Police revolvers. Repro jammed. Original made it. Let's see what the problem is. Oh yeah. A percussion cap. Excellent little beast. The record is manageable. No problem with that. Let's see what we have here. Oh yeah. I have all the 10 shots within the size of a head, so I have to say that from 50 meters this is an accurate gun and perfect for dueling, perfect for defending yourself in the saloon, and you can see that both guns are quite accurate. In 1860 Colt designed a completely new line of percussion revolvers to win the high quantity orders of the states preparing for the Civil War. He designed a 44 caliber 6 shot revolver for the army, a 36 caliber six shot revolver for the Navy and the 36 caliber five shot revolver for the civilian market and for the New York Metropolitan Police. All these models featured the creeping style loading lever designed by Alicia K. Root and the metal used for the production of the cylinder, the frame and the barrel was an alloy called silver steel which was stronger and lighter than the previous steel called used for manufacturing 44 caliber pistols. The pistol what we know today as the 1862 Police was originally advertised as the new model Police pistol. But not just the name given by the early collectors is wrong, but the date is also faulty as the production of this little beauty started in 1861. The new model Police revolver and its brother, the packet pistol of Navy caliber that we know today as the 1862 packet were all numbered in the same serial range and until 1873 about 28,000 Police models and 19,000 pocket models were made. Let me compare the original made in 1862 to a recently made Hubert Repro. There are only minor differences between the two, so let's start with the action first. Both pistols have a really smooth action with a trigger pull around 3 pounds, really good for target shooting. Both triggers break like glass, just as I like it. The weight, the feel, the look of the two revolvers are nearly completely identical, so I consider the Uberti version an excellent Repro. Even the sides are the same with the really uncomfortable small V-notch on the hammer and the tiny brass bead on the barrel. The 1862 packet and police revolvers were the last ones Samuel Colt saw entering production, as from 1861 his health began declining and in the last days he lost his mental powers also. He passed away on the 10th January 1862, leaving a well-running company behind. These revolvers are so close to each other that the repro parts will only need a small adjustment to have a fit in the original. The cap channel is missing from the repro, but this is not such a great problem as many originals also lack this feature. The police revolvers were manufactured with 3.5, 4.5, 5.5 and 6.5 inch barrels. These are both 5.5 versions. Even the color and the touch of the walnut grips are the same. And the brass grip frames are identical in size also. The new model police pistol was targeted to the civilian market. They were light, slim and easy to hide for everyday concealed carry, with enough power to take down a villain from close ranges. With its rounded barrel and frame and fluted cylinder, maybe this is the best looking Colt revolver ever. The pocket police pistol was not officially issued to the troops during the Civil War, but as it was light enough to be carried in the bucket of the overcoat, it found a way to the battlefields. The weight of this little gem is only 610 grams. The Repro has a fast twist bore with 7 lands and grooves, while the original has a gain twist rifling also with 7 lands and grooves. The bore of my original is not the best, I would say it's around 75%. Let's lag the bore to check the necessary bullet size. The original is 364 between the lands and 384 between the grooves. Let's check the Repro. It is 370 between the lands and 376 between the grooves. It is also important to check how the chambers will size the ball. The repro sizes the projectile to 372, while the original sizes it to 380. 
So for the original I will go for the 385 size and for the repro I will stick with the standard 375 balls. The weight difference between the projectiles is nearly nothing, only 5 grains, so there is no real difference in case of the terminal ballistics. The original service charge of the 36 caliber military cartridge was a 145 grain 385 diameter conical ball backed with 17 grains of fine black powder, but during the Civil War the cartridges saw a great number of variations. In both revolvers I used my proven 15 grains of 3F Swiss charge sealed with the selected ball and a good quality lube. Shooting to 25 meters can show what a pistol can do, so I decided to stick with the standard distance. I have to say I used all my target. Okay, so I have one shot here, one shot here, one shot here, one shot here, and one shot here. So technically we can say that the group is somewhere here. This is the group. It's not as good as I like it at 25 meters, but you know, it's 150 years old. And the barrel is not so good. So I accept it. It's like this. I like it anyway. Let's check the repro. What I like about Hubert repros is that they actually copy the real originals and in most cases they paid attention to the details. An excellent proof to show you how close their repros are to the originals if we mix the main parts and check what happens. The key part is the cylinder, which for the first sight look identical, having nearly the same dimensions and features including the safety rest pins between the chambers. Also the cylinder axis follow the same patterns, with spiral groups on the surface to delay the jams caused by the falling. The two pins positioning the barrel assembly on the frame seem to be very close to each other also. And voila, the repro frame cycles well with the original barrel and the cylinder. The cartridges made by Colt's cartridge works were considered the best from all that was available during the Civil War. They cast their own bullets and used the superior quality hazard powders made in Connecticut. The Colt made cartridges were of the combustible envelope design. Going for the Uberti. The Uberti tended to be more sensitive to fooling, so after 20 shots I had to help the cylinder rotate. This is much better. I have all the five shots within the size of an eight group ring, which is not bad for a small packet revolver like this. The new model police percussion revolver proved to be so handy and good quality that 70% of them was later converted to fire metallic cartridges. So the number of surviving pieces is quite limited. Today it will never be a tech driver, but who cares when you have the history in your hands. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching the Cap and Ball YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there. Thanks.